Well, it all began a little over two years ago when this all started with more than 200 nations staking their claim to be top of the world. Well, 32 made it to the finals here, and after a tournament spanning the better part of a month, featuring endless football on almost every day, it is a straight fight now for the title of the world's best. It has been a great festival of friendship, of sportsmanship so far, and one, we hope, which will end with a flourish. This game, of course, being brought to you from one of the most recognisable grounds in the British Isles. It is, of course, Ibrox. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Got the juices flowing, and now this. Well, over the years, one hears so much about what players get up to or feel like in the minutes leading up to this biggest of all games. Perhaps some of those things best not mentioned, but I wonder what honestly they are thinking now. Well, when it's this big, Peter, you're having an extra word with yourself in trying to ensure you make the best start you possibly can. Do your bit for the team without any mistakes. We've seen that tense edge during the lineup, so start as you mean to go on strongly. And we're on the way. As with a lot of finals. Cooks through there. Gabriel Jesus going through. It's on! What a wonderful goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet. Yet another example. With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. Brazil have made their breakthrough. Firmino. Now, can he capitalise? Short, big chance! Goal! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. starting to look very comfortable the turning of the screw time and again they are repelled Neymar Neymar he's got options out wide As soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Three in the last game, three in this one. He is a man on fire. Brazil take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight.
Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change. And we're up and running. Lost his cheek. Henderson goes short. Cade with a shot! And in it goes! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? England give themselves a fighting chance. Back in with a shout. Gabriel Jesus. He's had a goal! It's a goal! And the lead is free! It is surely done! Jim Yorkers. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Brazil grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. champions of the world, football's ultimate prize, this is Utopia. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who as a team blended into champions, and this is their moment.